Welcome back all you country hunters. Um, today's video is going to be basically on working on the weed whacker again. I've been working on it yesterday, but haven't been getting it to run. The old weed whacker, not the new one. The new one's still over there. But yeah, we're going to be working and see if we can get the, at least it started. Right now it's not even starting and I don't know if any of you guys know what's wrong. But I'll show you it right now. I have it out because the gas, it's, it's freaking hot in here. I'm sweating with my hat on. But... Yeah, I'm going to show you the weed whacker now. So here's the weed whacker. If you guys haven't seen my last video, that's where it usually is. But, yeah, here it is. I was working on it a little yesterday, just to see if I could get anything working, but I haven't found anything that was wrong with it. I'll set you up here, and we'll do like a start test. See, it won't even start, so I don't know if you guys know anything. Oops, if you guys know anything that would be causing that? Leave it in the comments below. But yeah, that's basically the weed whacker. Um, I've been trying to get it to work, nothing's been working. I checked the carburetor and everything, but it doesn't even look that bad. I don't know why. It, I might put new gas in it. I haven't even switched the gas, maybe that's what's wrong with it. But, I'll do that then. I'm going to go down to the pool now and give it a little backwash. We haven't been in it for a while, so I'm just going to go down and do that. Why not? Okay, here we are. Get the tube, hose, whatever you want to call it. Put it on backwash. And now we will let that backwash for a little. Okay, well I got the push mower out. I'm just gonna do a quick test on this just to make sure it still runs. I haven't had this running for a while. So we'll see if this works. Does it need any gas? Yeah, pretty good. Oil. We're good. Okay, so everything's good. Let's just see if it whoa, not like that. Just like that. Okay, so now we'll see if this thing starts. Well, that's good. At least that thing works. I was hoping so badly that that would work. Well, at least the mower's running. Now, I might need to mow the whole yard because I mowed that little bit. Darn it. But, whatever. It's really hot. I really don't feel like mowing grass today. Uh, let's put this over here so we can get the mower back up. And I'll catch you in a bit. There we go. That's back. That's back. Okay. Now, let's head down to the garage. The tractor's still at the same spot. This is still down. Now, let's just close this. Oh, geez, one-handed is not the easiest thing to do. There we are. There we are. There's the Harley. Yeah, here's the tractor. Still at the same spot. I'm thinking about giving it a wash before we head up. But yeah, we adjusted the blade, so now they can go a lot lower. There we are. I've been checking the engine and stuff. Everything seemed to go pretty well. The only thing that sounds a little funny, there's something that keeps rattling underneath. Like, right where this belt is. It might be the belt. I'm not sure. But it makes like a... Like that. And I don't know what that... I watched the bell. It does have a little bit of vibration. But it doesn't look like that much that it would cause it to do that. 
So, I don't know. Hey, there's the spot if you see my last video where I left the grease out. <laughs> but, anyway. Let's head back up to the shed. I hear a train. Hey, there's the catbird. It has a nest right there. If you see my last video, how I collect old bird eggs. Yeah. We have nests everywhere. Over there, we have a bird box. We had tree swallows in there. We had catbirds over. There's like a Christmas tree in our yard. Like, grown, like a pine tree. We have... That's my aunt's house. Um, she has robin in that tree. There's like a, another robin in that bush. I mean, two bushes, two robins. And then right in here, I can actually show you if... Not in here. Right here. You can see. I think that one actually still has babies in, but hey, there's a rabbit. Got any, you want to see a rabbit? <laughs> it's like my pet rabbit. Yes, I have a pet rabbit. You still haven't seen it. But yeah, I don't really know if we're going to be using this one anytime soon because we're really trying to get this one to work because now that we have a blower for this, I mean, we still have this blower. We have two freaking blowers. We have this one, this one's gas, we have one down there that's electric. But we're just thinking about keeping to use this one for blower because this thing, when you put this on high, no, that's run. I haven't used it that much, I forget where it is. But when you put it on high and you pull this fully, that thing blows a lot of freaking air. So yeah, it's pretty good. If you see one of these brands and you want to buy that, I'd really recommend that. That's a good, oh, it's right here. <laughs> The electric blower how many of you were screaming at me for not looking at it <laughs> but yeah that's oh oh you guys see what I'm looking at yeah my hand has a groundhog over here right under there that's what I'll do I'll set a trap what is that Jesus that was a big freaking fly how many of you guys hate when you walk up to a fly and they're big and they just buzz right in your face and they make you think that you're gonna like bite you or something? I don't know, I always had that fear. But I need two hands to get these down, so I'll be right back. Okay, well finally got them down. I am boiling. It is like 100 degrees in here. But yeah, there's two traps. There's this big one and there's a little one in here. I'm gonna use the little one just because we don't need any bait. It usually just runs out that way, so it'll hopefully run. And snap I'll show you how it works but um let me just I'll uh, switch the camera so you can see me getting it out this isn't gonna be too hard okay here we are so what you'll do is you'll lift this push this in lift this up reach in tiny trap and then leave that one down and there we go got the tiny trap so let's go this is just a size comparison. This is the one we're going to be using. It is so hot. I had to take off my shirt and everything. It is boiling. So yeah, see? We're just going to put the trap right here. And then he's going to come out here. And then he'll hit the trap. So let's quickly set it. There we go. Hold that up. And there we go. Now it's set. All you had to do is put this pin, and then when they step on this trigger plate, it'll snap shut, and we'll have ourselves, hopefully, a groundhog. But, yeah. So that's going to be about it for today, you guys. It is freaking boiling. I am sweating. I need to go jump in the freaking pool. But I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see all you hunters, country folks, whatever you want to be called, in the next video.